Who is the best solo queue legend? Who is the hell Ooh. legend? If you gotta have, if you got heaven, you gotta have hell. If I was forced to solo queue with this person, honestly, I think I'd just retire and go play Power World or Sea of Thieves or something. What we're doing today is I'm going to go through every single Apex legend, and there are 24 of them now, which is a total pain in the ass. And we're gonna be ranking them from S to D tier on their ability to solo queue because I don't have friends. I don't like talking to strangers, so I solo queue. I'm just going to start from the left. Bangalore. I'm not having a good time. I'm straight up not having a good time. Okay. Bangalore has insane escapability. Yeah, Bangalore, she's insane. She's S tier. Her passive being double time makes her self, like she's like a selfish movement character. She can only move herself, whereas all the other movement characters can help other people move. Her passive is insane. If you're in too deep, your ultimate can save you, your smoke can save you, and your passive can save you. She just like has so many tools for manipulating the enemy and like preserving her own life. She's amazing. Moving on to Fuse. Oh. I'm not like so ready for like permanent commitment you know what's funny it's funny hearing like how i would say about a month ago you were in my position dude, of like dude apex like got fine like, some chills. And i was like well like i can keep going like a you know apex is like, it's all right you're like dude i'm gonna find and now now it's completely what it doesn't shoot you back up it's crazy I, they used to yeah i thought it would for a second and like that doesn't there's a mean Watson popping up. anything Oh, damn it. Well, I'd assume like you could include losses. Oh, like, well, yeah, is. yeah. But like, so, like oh, okay, well, this is like an F tier because I lost. Fuck, man. Yeah, but this is super lame. Yeah, this is probably not a good game. Well, actually, this could help go into your scoring for Fuse. Like he has no mobility at all. Yeah. So this might actually be a good, a good example clip. No, you're yeah. right. Failure, failure is part of what we're doing. Dude, I had to use right. a whole, I had to use two redeploys, couldn't find anyone. And then I got snuck and like, I used my ultimate to like buy some time from the sword guy. Could have gotten killed by the sword guy if they're a little bit better. Yeah, like Fuse. It's almost like as bad as it gets for solo queue. Like he's like C tier, right. I think. Like the knuckles. The grenades are cool. The grenades are cool, but you need to be like in a perfect setting. situation. Yeah. You need to be like in a perfect situation. I should have let the lobby come to me. I think I could have made Fuse shine a little bit. And I think I'll do that with non-mobility characters more as we go. Ash. And I talk a lot of crap about Ash. I think, I think she's lost. I think she's the least fun character. I do like the noise that Ash makes. Her feet sound nice. No, that was a bad shot. Heather, Arkstar, grenade.
Oh no. Oh fuck. How are we alive? I wonder what the timing is on our alt. Is it's like okay it comes back every feels like two minutes i feel like i'm moving extra slow i don't know why This guy just super glided. <laughs> Damn. No. I'm not in. Damn. I feel like every aspect of her kit is either underpowered or so clunky, it is not usable. I was kind of leaning towards D tier, so I'm gonna keep her on the bottom, bottom of C. Ooh, Maggie. I'm looking forward to Maggie. A few moments later. Dude, F tier? I feel like I didn't have answers. Ballistic. Need to hit those. Ah! Ballistic felt somehow like worse than Ash. Pathfinder, thank God. Dude, I finally feel like I'm where I belong playing Pathfinder. It's, it, dude, it is like riding a bike. It's like riding a bike. Yeah, Pathfinder's insane. Okay. Okay. I see why Candy's like mad all the time. I get it. I get it. I really do. I really do. Uh oh. Relax. It's just a prank. Why are they being so serious? See, with Pathfinder, it's not only that I can get away. It's that I feel it's that I feel super confident re-engaging as well. I maybe just get a little overconfident sometimes. Pathy's awesome. Pathy's, Pathy's S tier. The only incredible game goes to Bang, so she's still like 
She's still above path, but they're both they're both S tier. All right, how do we play Reef? Hey, I'm inside the next ring. Nice. There's sure are a lot of shitters out today. No! No! Got right in her stupid foot. There's no knocks for yet, right? On either team? Rate's good. Dude, we won a game. With Pathfinder, we lost. With Pathfinder, we lost. See, here's the thing. I feel like you're either incredible or, or bad. Like, I, I, think, I think she's S tier. I felt like I had incredible escapability with her ultimate. But now her tactical goes longer. Her ultimate making you run faster is insane. It's longer, and the longer it goes, the, the faster you get. So, like, by the end, you are flying. Yeah, she's S-tier. Moving on to Octane. I feel like taking the cannon equals death. I'm sorry, fellow Octane. What am I hearing? Ooh, they are far. 240 meters.
my god. He's either gatekeeping S tier, so it's just like, is he better than Octane? Or he's like bringing up the rear bass. You know what? He's gatekeeping S tier. You need to be better than Octane to get into S tier. That was great. Moving on. Revenant. Dude, I don't like Revenant. I don't need to die like that. Well, time to die. Dude. Don't you know who the real enemy is? I'm actually getting boned by this random. It all comes down to this. Yeah, GG's. A tier? The Revenant feels like that. I think a really good player can use the overshield, can use the leap, can use the climb, can use the crawl. Like, he's got tools in his tool belt, but either because I just don't have enough experience or it just doesn't mesh up or he's just slightly lacking compared to everybody else. It feels like a it feels like the definition of like really good, but not the best. Horizon. That's not good. That's not good. Dang, he was better. I was gonna put her A tier, but if Maggie is B tier, Horizon is B tier. I think Horizon might be, they're like interchangeable, in my opinion. She's B tier. I think I'd rather be any of these characters than Horizon. Ooh, Valkyrie. I think she's gonna be good. I think she's gonna be strong. Oh my god, this guy just super glide. Fuck, oh, man. for enemies is really nice that's that's luxurious that's luxurious knowing that i'm landing somewhere safe hmm this might be a bad spot again yeah i don't think i could play here yeah might have might have just killed myself Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Oh. Dude, I was getting shot at by so many. GG's. I kind of enjoyed Valk. She has the same thing where she doesn't have great horizontal movement, but dude, the jetpacks catch some people off guard to where you're able to like move around a little bit. You can be squirrely. You can be squirrely with her. I think she's eight tier. She's right there with Rev. She felt the same. Where it's like, yeah, I could solo queue with her probably all day. We'll say Bloodhound has a nice benefit of being able to scan the, the dude beacons, I guess. 
And and the all the ultimate is a great like attack escape tool. The the ultimate still gets longer if you get knocks, right? Still feel like I'm gonna bump into a team, and I'm just gonna have like no answers, like no like escape. I'm just gonna like pop all. I just hope they're not good enough to shoot me. Oh shit. No. Don't shoot me. Don't shoot me. Don't shoot me. Don't shoot me. Don't shoot. Don't 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 Honestly, felt like felt like these three. I felt like I could solo queue and win a couple games, but die in a couple frustrating ways too. We got crypto. Yeah, crypto mains are kind of like people. Shit. 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 I'm a god. Don't shoot my drone, lady. I feel like he's high in like flavor. Like you really like are doing such like niche things. Like ash, low flavor. Yeah, do you feel like a scientist when you're playing Horizon? That's the thing. I don't feel like a scientist when I'm playing Horizon, but I feel like a hacker when I'm playing crypto. That made a really nice sound.
crypto was pretty fun was pretty fun like i said he's a character with like a lot of immersion or flavor I, I don't know if those words are doing it justice but like i could tell i'm playing this hacker character up next see here oh my god well that's unlucky he's f tier baby the vantage on the other hand that's my girl mm, they're fighting over there Whoa! <laughs> I knew she was still there, man. Wow, she's pretty good. She's enjoyable. Her ability is just a reposition ability. Like, you're not, like, escaping there. Like, it's really interesting. Like, I feel like there's a canyon happening between, like, the top batch and, like, this bottom batch. Yeah, I could be F'd here because I suck with them. Dude, no fill, Gibby. Ay, 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 ay. I was hoping they'd be fighting for a little bit still. Shit below me. No. No. Happy. Strafe. For the love of God. Fuck. 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 Got him. <laughs> uh oh. That was not as bad an experience as these three down here. All right, solo queue lifeline. You are my cover now. Don't feel comfortable now. I said, don't fucking shoot me. Whoa! 
fuck! GG's. So, um, yeah, she was not, she, you know, not ideal. Not ideal. Now for a real. Hmm, just run into a wall and pretend I'm a decoy. Brilliant. Okay, we've got a little bit of escapability. I think he's a solid B, you know? Solid B. Let's see, who's next? Loba. I like Loba. Oh no. Do a finisher. Do a finisher. Do a finisher. Do a finisher. M. M. I need some range, bro. Yeah, they are. Missed wide right. Ooh, miss right left. Uh oh. Ah! Oh! Oh my god, wrong gun! I thought I had the prowler out, if I'm being honest. Honestly, like, she's like true neutral. I feel like she's gatekeeping A tier. You have to be better than Loba in order to be up here. Ah. See, Newcastle, he's just lying bad. He, he, he's C tier. He's C tier for me. Because he, he has a movement ability. Honestly, it feels, this, it feels similar to like Ash or Vantage, where you can like leap onto a building. So you can like completely change your position to high ground or something all of a sudden, which is, you know, big. I think he's a little bit better than Gibby. Condi A tier. We shall see. Sushi ball. I'm a little bit of a conduit hater myself. I feel so like on my back foot, you know? I thought I heard something. All right, Conduit felt really bad, dude. She felt a lot like Lifeline. We were literally like holding, like hold, hold, like that, like that was like really good. Like I'm, I'm thinking I prefer that over a couple movement abilities under Lobo. Oh.
No. I feel like that wasn't a fair shake. I feel like I've done better solo queue with Watson before. So I feel like just from the benefit of the doubt, she's definitely like not B tier. I enjoy playing Watson solo, but I kind of struggle with her a little bit. I'm gonna put her top of C tier. Um, it might be a little tricky. Definitely a little tricky. Oh my God, she wall bounced. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God, she wall bounced. She felt worse than Watson because you can't like hurt anyone. You know, you don't got like zappy walls. You just have like one way walls. And if they close the gap, which is very easy, you're dead. Dude, pinched. She's better than Caustic. She's B tier, for sure. Here, here's my final list. Candy, so I took a page out of Candy's book, who took a page out of some other Pokemon YouTubers book. We're, we added a God tier. Who is the best solo queue legend? But I took it a step further, and Candy, I want you to listen. I added another category. Who is the hell legend? If you gotta have, if you got heaven, gotta have hell like if i was forced to solo queue with this person honestly i think i'd just retire and go play power world or see these or something our best game was on bangalore but you already know baby uh it's gotta be pathfinder it's gotta be dude pathfinder's the best dude the zip lines are freaking great he grapples around which i guess is busted according to candor dude god tier this is my job this is my job i know we only have one person in F tier, I think I had a really bad experience on Seer. But I think I'd like pull my hair out if I was forced to play Ballistic the whole time. Ballistic is the worst. Somehow he got demoted from D minus below Seer and F to hell. I did not enjoy playing Ballistic alone. And yeah, yeah, you guys can laugh. You can all say skill issue. His ultimate is meant to help a whole team his ultimate just works on one gun. I always find his ultimate to be clunky. His tactical is like almost worse than slot. It's so bad. It's 10 damage and like one out of the many people shooting at you like slow, sort of stop shooting for a second. No movement. You're walking on your feet. Um, does he have a passive? Oh, he holds the gun. He holds a third gun. So that way, you know, I, I'm usually dead by the time I'm using my first gun. He has three weapons. The number of weapons is not the problem. So it feels as if at every turn, his abilities are doing nothing to help you as a solo. Keep in mind, this is a solo, no fill tier list. His abilities have to do with other people like Conduit, like Lifeline, but it, it's terrible. Just awful, awful. I. True hell would be if I had to play eight hours worth of ballistic. <laughs> and there you have it. Pathfinder 7. Ballistic's hell. I was so impressed with Wraith. Because I've I've I have like 700 kills on Wraith. It's season 20, and I do this full time as my job, and I have like 700 kills on her. So honestly, I might play a little bit more Wraith because she was so enjoyable as like this squirrely little legend. Uh impressed that she made it all the way up to uh, S tier.
This is my tier list. Uh, haters, comment below. Um, talk to y'all later. Bye.